Welcome back, it's Jason again here, and we are doing video part two of my Kegel build. Uh, in the first video, I showed you guys how to cut the top off of your keg, of your beer keg, and uh, today we're going to go ahead and install a stainless steel valve, ball valve that is, and a sight glass, yours truly from brewhardware.com. All right, so let's get going here. I've uh, already marked the holes. I'm going to go ahead and direct you down to the keg here and show you what's going on. Oh, and if you like the shirt, straight out of beer, you can get one at onebadshirt.com. Best beer t-shirts out there. Trust me, I know. Okay, so uh, here's what we've done here is I've already marked my locations on uh, where I want to have my stuff. I just took on my location pretty much in the center of this, center of my handles up here, and I'm going to go up. I'm going to make my center hole at four inches. That's just how I'm doing mine. You can do yours different if not, but it looks like a good fit for me. So what we're going to do is I'm going to start off and I'm going to do the, uh, we're going to do this one first, get the ball valve installed and I'm going to draw or uh, I'm going to screw in or uh, I can't talk. I'm going to drill into this motherfucker with a step bit and uh, I'm going to come back here in just a second and knock that hole out and then I'm going to do another hole about a half inch hole on this one here for the sight glass. So stay tuned and we'll be back. Okay guys, I'm back and I've got that hole drilled out there in the kegel for the ball valve. Now let me tell you something, even with the bulkhead fittings, at least the ones I got, they have the nut in the middle. Let me show you. Got one sitting here. This is the kind that I got right here. With that stupid hex bolt in there. Let me tell you, it's a bitch to get them to seal with that. So my suggestion is find just a regular close nipple or maybe this is probably about a one inch nipple or maybe go an inch and a half depending on what you want to do on the inside. Just my thing is I already leak tested it as I put it in there trying out a few, few different varieties of ways to seal it in there. It was a bitch. It was a bitch. Anyhow, the way I did it, if you come across and you have one of these, is I put this in here into the keg from the outside so the nuts on the outside put a washer behind it then on the inside I slipped on one of these o-rings here and one of the nuts here like that that's recessed on the inside there like that and it seems to be sealing it so now what we gotta do is uh, we gotta get this ball valve uh, screwed on here. I've already wrapped it with some Teflon tape. And uh, keep in mind which way your valve opens before you thread it on the wrong way and find out you can't open it. So in my case, we go this way. This is open, closed. So just putting it on, it's gonna go like that. And we are gonna thread that bitch on. All right. <laughs> Of course, it's going to be in a different position than I want it to, so I'm going to have to move this slightly on the inside. Seal that. Yeah. If I tilt it up, I get just a slight drip out of there, but nothing to be concerned about. I think I may eventually change this out to one of the uh, straight nipples. Don't get one with the hex in it. It's just a pain in the ass. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move on. I've already marked my hole here, and this is where we're going to put in our sight glass. 
should look something like this. All right, and then we'll be able to go in there and get our numbers on and all that good stuff so we can measure it out and uh, calibrate it. Till then, I'll be back again. All right, once again, we are back. And here's what comes with this kit here from brewhardware.com. Got basically a little bushing right here. Nice. Hopefully you can see that. Anyways, they're actually machined for this. And then we got a little flat washer and this goes on the outside. Outside of the cake. This goes inside, this goes outside. And then we just thread this bitch up right alongside where we marked it and let's see how that goes. All right. Now, here. See how tight it made this hole. Hopefully, tighten up the here. I don't really want to damage my threads. Okay. Needs a little, a little bit more motivation. Super tight. Mm -hmm. Be super tight. Is that right? Sight glass on, and we got our ball valve on. Next thing you do, what we're gonna do is uh, put our thermometer gauge in here. I got one of those here, just waiting to go in. And I gotta figure out where I want to put this thing at. There's a thermometer. And I'm thinking somewhere is about here would be good. Right there in about the middle there. I think that looks pretty nice. Well, now it means I'm gonna have to make some more holes. Or I could always set it off to the side. But I think I'm gonna, I think I'm just gonna go right up here and this right above this next rib right up here. I'm just gonna go right there. That looks like a good spot for it. Well, it would be kind of nice to have it lower. Well, up here's where we're gonna go. Of course, that's going to be, yeah, that'll work. Okay, stay tuned. I'm going to draw this one out now, and I'll be back. Hmm. Oh, hey, what's going on? Jason back again, just uh, finishing up this cable build here, and obviously I drilled the hole here, but in this little bad boy here, so now I got the thermometer in there, and uh, same procedure as putting it in as this one and that one. Uh, now we just got a leak test to make sure everything's good. I did a slight leak test on this, just a real quick one, just kind of threw a little bit of water in there, but the real thing is going to be when I actually fill it up and see how it goes. So uh, anyways, that is how you build your kegel. Um, one thing I do need to do still, obviously, I have no idea what the sight glass isn't calibrated yet. So. But I've got here, I've got a bunch of numbers that I'm going to stick on. Um, start filling it up, measuring out every time I get to uh, another gallon mark. I'm going to put the sticker on here. And I'll be able to tell how much I've got in there. So, anyways, that's it for now. Uh, down the road, the plans are going to be for this uh, to... Um, I will probably make um, a top for it. I have a lid that will actually fit from one of my bigger pots. And... 
I'll probably put that on there, but I'm thinking I might line this entire thing with some of that reflectix tape. And then I want to make a dip tube so I can get as much water out as possible. Um, but for now, I could just heat up a little bit extra and kind of do my math and figure it out. But anyways, that's the start. That's how you build a kegel. And uh, stay tuned. I'll be making more videos here uh, once I get it all done and future improvements and mods to this. So stick around. If you like this video, subscribe and share it with your friends. And let's get brewing some beer. Jason's out.